So I rescued this chihuahua because its brother was eaten by a coyote. And I knew if I didn't do something or at least speak up about it, that I feel like once you know the information and you don't protect the innocent, you are just as accountable as I think the thing that harms it. So in Matthew, it says something about those who harm an innocent being. It would be better for a millstone to be tied around their neck and for them to be cast off in the sea. I think that means be accountable and stand up for the innocent that don't have a voice. So think about that when you watch this video, please. I can tell you that two days ago, I, f I flew out my first 10 year old with a heart attack and I had to fight the doctor in the ER because he's like 10 year olds don't have heart attacks. And I argued back and forth for 30 minutes to force his hand to get an EKG to find out that he was had almost a complete STEMI, which is ST elevated myocardial, which you could see it lit up on the 12 lead EKG. And he's like, well, that's not possible. And I'm like, well, he was just vaccinated yesterday. It is very much possible. Oh, at any given time, people are getting a hold of me and the nurse advocates at American Frontline Nurses to help advocate because as you've seen, there is victim shaming that it does, oh, it's anxiety. Oh, it's this. But in actuality, if they put down that it was a vaccine injury, the physician, the corporation, the hospital, the clinic, they actually won't get reimbursed. So it gets labeled as anxiety or neuropathy or Guillain-Barre syndrome, when in actuality, it's very realistically a vaccine injury. It's this. But in actuality, if they put down that it was a vaccine injury, the physician, the corporation, the hospital, the clinic, they actually won't get reimbursed. So it gets labeled as anxiety or neuropathy or Guillain-Barre syndrome, when in actuality, it's very realistically a vaccine injury. Whereas I tell people, you are better off in South America in a field hospital than you are in actuality. If they put down that it was a vaccine injury, the physician, the corporation, the hospital, the clinic, they actually won't get reimbursed. So it gets labeled as anxiety or neuropathy or Guillain-Barre syndrome, when in actuality, it's very realistically a vaccine injury. Whereas I tell people you are better off in South America in a field hospital than you are in level one trauma designer hospitals in the United States. As nurses, we are getting reports across the country from our American frontline nurses about patients not getting food, patients not getting water, how come a patient hasn't been fed in nine days? Why do I need to get a court order to force a hospital to feed a person who isn't intubating food? Patient's not getting water. How come a patient hasn't been fed in nine days? Why do I need to get a court order to force a hospital to feed a person who isn't intubated and who's literally telling you they would like food? Oh, well, you can't take your BiPAP mask off. Well, that's what us nurses are for. We're going to help you take that off and we're going to help you eat, but we're not allowed to. If you know if they're on a ventilator, they're not getting basic standards of care.